and I'm super excited because we have Cheyenne on tonight and this girl is awesome she's been rocking it I'm just really excited to for all of us to like get to know you hear your story ask you a few questions it's gonna be super casual and fun um you know and I want you guys to pump up this chat here let me see your faces I want to be interactive let's do this okay let me try to unmute you or can you unmute yourself I think so yes. hear me? yep I hear you hi thank you for getting on and taking the time with us of course I'm excited <laughs> I'm excited too okay share your story with us go all in take the mic okay so also, I'm on here on my iPad, so if I like share any scripts or anything, just let me know and I can share them on my iPad just because I know like text replacement doesn't always work. But I'm so excited to be here, you guys. Um, I joined, let's see, I guess it's almost two and a half years ago. It was October of 2017. Um, I was just wanting extra money basically um i joined cheyenne knox and i just saw her posting on facebook just like about making money from her phone and i was just like well i'm working three jobs i go to school full time like i would love to do this um i did try something somewhat like this before so having like that background it didn't go well so joining this i was just like oh like i don't know what i'm doing but i've actually known shay since like we were kids so joining really wasn't like that hard i guess because i just knew her um i was a customer for someone else and she heard the business and i was like okay and i'm super green so i asked her literally a thousand questions um, after a couple weeks, I ended up just getting started and I just really wanted like money. I didn't know like what I wanted, but I just am so money hungry at the same time. So I just genuinely wanted a bunch of money. <laughs> so I ended up getting started. Um, I went executive my first month and I didn't see a $2,000 paycheck, which I know is crazy, but I literally just wanted money and I obviously didn't get $2,000. So I was like, I can't do this. Oh my gosh. And I went through this whole, like, this is a scam blah 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 and then at conference of 2018 um shay called me and she was like look you're charted for emerald like there's a bonus that just got announced like let's go and i was like five thousand dollars seems pretty cool because that was the emerald bonus at the time and i was like okay like let's do it what do i need to do and she was like i really just want you to follow my lead she's like if i post about the products post about the products um thanks I didn't like we didn't have stories then which is crazy to think about like posting on your story did not exist at this time so basically she was just like if I'm posting about something post like if I've messaged 20 people go message 20 people and I was like okay sounds good and that was literally all it took we had like a little team chat at that point and if you're familiar with her story um this is when she was also pushing back to maintaining diamond and going double so i had no idea what was going on and i was just like kind of running i was like i don't know what i'm doing but like i'm gonna do something and she called me like um at the beginning of february and by mid-february i had promoted him or ruby excuse me um and then at the end of February, I was only like a thousand away from Emerald. And knowing that now, I wish someone would have literally like shook me because I was a thousand away from Emerald. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm too far. So um, I ended up going Emerald in March, earning the bonus. Um, I went Diamond in June, which was seven months into the business. I earned the $7,500 bonus. Um, retired myself from corporate America at 19. I was a full time rap girl, still going to school. Um, I went double September of 2018. I don't remember what bonus I earned just because they've all kind of blurred together and there's just been so many different ones, but I ended up earning a bonus. And at this point in my business, I was an angry leader. So if you are red and if you're like the negative traits of a red, there might be a time where you just have this angry leader stage. And I was just bulldozing my team and like it was, it was just not okay. So I ended up losing half of my team just because I was not a good person. I was just so mean um I did so much personal development um I'm also very stubborn so obviously I'm under Jade and which obviously I know you guys are too and Jade always preached like personal development watch the secret and I was like I don't need the secret I don't need personal development I'm amazing and so that was where I was like in my head and so um I ended up just finally like 
letting go, I guess, and doing personal development. And you guys, it completely changed my business. I had like two girls that were still working with me at this point, And I was like, we're just going to run. Like, we're just going to do this. I didn't know what I was doing. And from that point, just doing personal development and pouring into the girls that I did have ended up allowing me to go triple diamond three months later in March of 2018, which was seriously life changing. I cannot explain to you guys like VIP is something else like just reaching that rank like it literally just means the world and um as of now we're just pushing for prez um I reloaded triple last month which was super super exciting and then now we're just pushing prez and prez is happening this month and I'm seriously just so excited but that's kind of long story short with my story I love that so much you were so okay so congratulations and we're super pumped we'll be cheering you on and I can't wait to see you uh, uh, promote to presidential this month. But I'm okay. excited. <laughs> I'm excited for you. We're we're all excited. But I'm like, okay, this guys, this girl was like one of the most realest of the real storytellers I have ever like talked to. Like I don't think I've ever had another Zoom with another leader just be so straightforward and real and I appreciate that a thousand percent because like it's not rainbows and butterflies guys it's it's not right what we do is is simple you know you gotta be willing to work though and but as you promote as you get you know as you grow a larger team you build into this whole different kind of part of the business and that is leadership. And again, that part is definitely not easy. We've mm -hmm. all made mistakes. She was so, so, so truthful and said that because of her redness, a lot of her team quit at one point. I'm sure 100% that has happened with me in the past. Um, but you live and you learn right? It's just like anything else in life, but you just being honest with obviously yourself, because in my entire team, that is just so awesome because I'm sure a few of you guys may relate to that, right? And maybe some of you are like, I wish, could we trade? Could we like have, I'll give you some of my yellow and like you give me some of your red. So are you red, green or green, red? I am green, red, which is crazy. So it's like, I'm for sure green red if every time I take the test I get more green which kills me because I'm like I'm like the last time I took it I was 80% green and I was just like oh my gosh 80 but things I was 80% green like 15% red and I have zero yellow and zero blue so I've been trying like that's I'm so big on personal development and that is like what I'm focusing on so hard right now is just learning how to grow that yellow inside of me um because literally like you said like if I could take anyone's yellow I really would and because <laughs> obviously like you said like you live and you learn and just going through it like you obviously adapt to become more of the colors just because you have to, especially like in the higher leadership roles. But um, I am for sure gr green and red. And I feel like my red comes out more in my like work ethic and my green comes out when I'm like learning because I love learning about new things. I'm such a nerd when it comes to that. <laughs> That's so awesome. So really quick before we continue, I was on the last Zoom and I showed this book. Um, this book is so awesome. You guys need to get it if you haven't. Have you? You, have you read this before, Cheyenne? Mm, I haven't read that one, but I'm definitely writing it down right now. <laughs> of course you're writing it down. Yeah. Uh, okay. So what's really cool about this, and I didn't even, guys, I didn't read it from beginning to end, and you, as greens, might be cringing, but what's really cool about this is it goes over your strengths, right? So it's, it's a color personality test, but on steroids, and that, and why, so I'm huge into learning myself in psychology, and why I love this even more than the color personalities, I feel like the color personalities are for beginners, is um, honestly, I feel like this might even be easier for some people because it really digs deeper into um, who you truly are in your strengths, whereas colors can get a little confusing because look, I am not very green from the color personality test, but I have a lot of green traits, right? I, and one of the strengths I have on here is learning. That was one of my top ones, but I'm, I don't have, you know, much, much green in me, right? So um, it's just really cool. It gives you like five different 
five different traits and it goes into depth into depth with them um who is it don clifton is the who wrote it oh so something that's really cool is probably the most boring part it has it comes with this code don't try buying the code by itself because it's really expensive so if you get it with the book i think it's like 20 bucks and you, it's a it, the test will take you 25 minutes to a half hour like i had to sit down i'd be like babe i'm locking myself in my room you need to let me do this and it was one of the coolest things ever but um anyways it's a great book you guys should get it so it's Wow, I kind of wanted to like go over basics on the Zoom, but now from your story, I'm like, I'm about to switch this whole thing up right now. So um, I want you guys to to drop in the comments like a one if if you've ever like felt, you know, frustrated when it came to a promotion and not like maybe not hitting that promotion or maybe not getting that paycheck that you wanted or just, you know, feeling as if you're you're stuck in some shape or form like that so it's funny because um i relate to you a lot on like that paycheck level um but a different kind of mindset i remember i used to be the biggest complainer guys i used to complain i i joined with cassie i don't know if you know that i used to complain her all the time like about my paycheck and it's funny because she would be like emily like you're complaining about your paycheck but that's not helping it grow like you need to be focusing on growing your paycheck, not complaining about it. And I'm like, I just couldn't, I couldn't understand in my head. Like I was just super anxious and I was very motivated, but I wasn't focusing on the right things. Right. So that is something that's very, very, very important. You mentioned the self-development, which is so stinking huge. So can you kind of like, can you kind of give some advice and talk about, I know it's a broad question, but how you went about growing like how you went through um you know getting to that next step like mindset wise I guess yeah no I know exactly what you mean and I feel like the biggest thing um honestly you guys like you just have to be like vulnerable and I know it's hard and especially if you have like those red traits in you like being vulnerable in someone simply telling you that you're doing something wrong you do not want to hear that. And I feel like that's also my green side of me as well. Um, there's like a saying like greens would rather be right than rich. And that is me to a T because like I always want to know that I'm right. And it's not a good thing like all the time. But um, I obviously knew that I wasn't doing something right. And that's where it all kind of came down to. So I just I don't remember like exactly how it all went down. But I just was like, Shay, like what is going on? Love was like. I'm not doing something right and I need to be able to fix it. And I feel like it was just that moment where I had to just kind of have someone else point me out and point out my flaws, quote unquote, just to like actually see what was going on. And Shay was just like, look, like you have to grow your mind. And I think it started with me reading, um, what's the book by Rachel Hollis? It's like, Girl, Wash Your Face? Yeah, I think it was Girl, Wash Your Face. And that was like one of the first books I ever read. And after reading that, like that's when my like reading bug, I guess, like came out. And like, I love reading. I'm, I'm literally the biggest nerd you'll ever meet. And it just really came down to knowing that my leadership is what needed to grow for me to become a triple diamond. And it was just like, what does a triple diamond do every single day? And like, one of the things was personal development. I was like, okay, I guess I'm just going to have to get over myself and like start growing. And I mean, I've read, I cannot tell you guys how many books I've read, but I just always have continued to read books on like, um, Growing your mind is in like, girl, wash your face, girl, stop apologizing, the magic of thinking big. Um, I know, Emily, I can see it on your desk, but High Performance Habits, that book changed my life. Like, if you have not read that book, that book is amazing. And that one I have, like, I owe half of my business to that book because it literally changed my entire life. But um, it was just honestly coming down to the point where I, like I said, like I knew I was doing something wrong. And I needed to fix it. And the only one that was going to fix it was me. And that came with just doing personal development and just kind of like you said, like focusing on the good and like focusing on like growing essentially. Cause if you're just focused on like my team's quitting, my team's quitting, my paycheck, my paycheck, like it's not where I want it to be. Then like, it's never going to grow from there. It's only going to be stagnant or it's just going to go lower. And that was just like one of the things that I really had to learn. So I hope that I answered your question. Like, Kind of. <laughs> no, no, it did. 
and you know it's it's funny because as you're talking i'm like i can tell that half of these people listening are probably like frustrated and like pissed off listening to you and then the other half is like yes girl you're so right you're so right and it's it's almost like sometimes i just want to like i want to take someone in and be like why can't you see like like it's just that aha moment or that breakthrough it guys it can i swear to gosh it can literally take one th- it can literally take one quote like i have sticky notes all over oh, and for it's sure. like it's like it's it's so it's so crazy like like i have one that says god walks you through valleys before he takes you through the next mountaintop and i did not connect to it right now the same way i did to when i listened to that and it was probably a 30 second clip or a 30 second of me listening to him stephen furtick he's amazing and that 30 seconds literally gave me the biggest aha moment in a long time like and i just like kept going and listening so also you guys need to understand that listen you're not gonna you're not in order to go up you got to grow up not grow up in like a mean way but like grow up you got it i should probably use a different quote so in the same things that may connect to cheyenne and this in what connects to me may not connect to you like i love grant cardone a lot of my team does not right? Um, I love Brandon. He's amazing. And he's a life coach. I love him. A lot of people on my team don't connect to him. Whatever, guys, do your thing. Like, but you have to be willing to find your mentors, right? Your, the person that you joined or your upline or your leader should not be your only mentor. No offense, right? I mean, talking about myself too, so whatever, but they, they should not be. And you don't need to I heard, I forgot who I heard this from, but it really changed everything for me. And it's so true. You don't have to be talking to this person one-on-one every day. You don't even have to be, you don't even have to talk to this person ever for them to be your mentor. It could be um, Grant Cardone, just listening to his videos, taking his advice, listening to his podcast every day. He is your mentor, right? Um, And you need to commit to that, but you need to find that person and you need to go through it because look, we all, every single person who is on here that I'm looking at, we all have something that we need to overcome, right? Every single one of us. And, you know, every mountaintop, there's always going to be something else, right? Or the same thing, but because you went through it the last time, it's going to be easier for you to get through it the second time. So you need to confront it, just like she said, and then Go, grow through it and then if it happens again it's going to be easier for you to overcome it next time so give you guys give you guys some grace there all right let's get into a little bit about like what you do i know <laughs> what do you do no i'm just kidding um so we are on the same same team we're under jade so i know we have a lot of things in common with how we work um but i guess kind of like you know Let's go over your daily non-negotiables really quick. Yeah, I was going to say, like, basically like a day in the life, but exactly. And so um, I also meant to say this also, um, before this business, I was, like, not a religious person. It was just something that was not really my thing. I didn't grow up being like that. And joining this, like, literally brought God into my life. And that was one thing that I meant to say during my story, because, like, I literally, I cannot even explain to it or explain it, but, like, just, like, reading and like worshiping God in like the simplest way that has also helped so much. And I think like also through that, like with my story, um, or I guess like with my day, I guess, um, I wake up super early, but I do it for like for a reason. I also don't really go to bed. I go to bed early too. Cause you obviously want to make sure you're taking care of yourself. And that was one thing that going triple, I didn't do. Um, I literally was maybe sleeping two hours a night and I was just work, 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 work. And it was not okay. Hey, like I ended up just like literally making myself sick and it honestly kind of, it, it burnt me out in the simplest way. And that's when I started reading, um, high performance habits. I know I just kind of went off on a tangent. I'm going to go back to that. I promise. But um, I was just like thinking of something. I'm also such a squirrel, but, but that's when high performance habits like really came into play. Cause like that is like reading high performance habits is why I do my day the way that I do it now, just because it showed me that like, I do not have to work 
20 hours a day to go presidential, to be an ambassador diamond. Like I do not have to do that. And that was the biggest thing because I thought that I was going to have to work 23 hours of the day to be successful. And like, that's not how it is. So how my day kind of goes now is I wake up at 5 a.m. Um, it's hard. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I love sleep and waking up at 5 a.m. is not easy, but it is so helpful. So I wake up super, super early. Um, I come out to my living room. I make, I use half a skinny brew at a time just because caffeine is like kind of weird on me. So I drink, I make half a, or half a thing of skinny brew and then I watch a sermon. And right now I am watching crazy or the crazy faith series by transformation church. Um, it's also Michael Todd. He's completely changed my whole freaking life. And right now I'm reading or I'm listening to that specific series, I guess, just because if you are green, um, seeing things and like, actually like the visuals is like, it's hard. Cause like seeing like presidential happen for me right now, I know it's there, but six months ago, I would not have been able to tell you guys that I could see presidential happening for me. Cause like the volumes weren't there, the enrollments weren't there and like that kind of thing. So, um, I just like do that personal development right whenever I wake up. And that is the biggest thing I can tell you guys is, like personal development right when you wake up, your whole day will change. So I would listen to a sermon. Um, I journal right after that. If you don't journal, please just start. It's weird. I literally talk to myself all the time, but like writing down like what I'm thinking, it was hard at first, but if you could just journal, like literally just even affirmations sometimes, like sometimes I'll, I'll be journaling and I'm like, I'm amazing. I am awesome. I can do all things. And like, just cause like, that's what you need to hear sometimes. So I'll do that. And then I read for 30 minutes, just cause another thing, like I just try to get all my personal development done. I go work out. I get done with my workout, clean up cause I'm all hot and sweaty. And then, um, I come back and I just start working right in the morning. So by this time it's like eight, 9 AM and I, um, do about half of my six list. So my six list varies, I guess, throughout the day. And basically like I try to get done with all of my quote unquote work, which I mean like interacting, following messaging, just doing all of the things by noon. So by the rest of the day, I'm a hundred percent available for my team. And if I need to run any errands, I'm going to do those. Um, if I like want to do something with my boyfriend, obviously right now, like we're stuck at home, but you know what I'm trying to say? Like my day is done by 11 AM noon. So I have the rest of the day to just simply pour into my team. Um, just do the things that I need to do. Um, my six list again, super green. This is my checklist every single day. And I haven't done this in a couple of days just because I don't need it every single day. But some days I just simply need to look at this and I'm like, okay, let's get it done. So like on this, like there is a lot, but it's just because I'm green and I have to break everything down. There is nothing on this list that you guys don't do every single day. It's sending out friend requests, following post to post. Um, journaling, watching a sermon, posting on my wall, posting on my stories, messaging new DTs, texting my leaders, like different things like that, that you guys are doing every single day. I just have to look at it on a checklist. And I just literally taped this with, um, packaging tape and I expo marker, or I have an expo marker. So don't gotta be fancy over here. Um, literally there's just tape all over this paper, but that is essentially how I do my day. Um, for me, I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to this. I hate messaging. I think it's just so tedious. Like I know it's so like, I know it helps, but sending out 120 messages, like I'd rather go like, I don't know, like run a mile or something. Like it's just so tedious for me. So I will like pour into myself get all my messaging done, all my follow-ups, and then I'll do something else that's going to lift me back up. So it's like draining you and then sustaining you. Cause if I wait to do my messaging at nine or 9 PM, I'm not going to do it. Like I know myself and that's where just really getting to know yourself comes in as well. Cause if you know that sending out messages is just such a drag in like the simplest way, do it first thing in the morning. Cause like, as soon as you get it done, it's that sense of like, Oh my gosh. Okay. I've messaged 120 people. And that's my number, by the way, that's why I'm saying 120. Um, but I'm just sending out like these messages and I know that through the rest of the day, my phone's going to be like blowing up with post to post people wanting to order. So I have all of my stuff done. So throughout the day is when I'm like responding to people. I hope that kind of makes sense. Yeah, no, that was awesome. And I'm the same exact way as you for sure. Like, I don't really think anyone enjoys 
I mean, maybe just sending people messages. We, we like when people are answering, right? Um, so if you can't get it done in the morning, right? I love that. Um, so do you, are you, like, do you cold message and host post? Do you, are you saying like host, like messaging for host posts? Like what is your main groove or do you do it all? So I used to do, I like both of these, so I'm not saying do one or the other, just kind of figure out what works best with you. I used to only do host to post messaging on Facebook and I would do like 60 of those and then 60 um, like reach out messages, I guess, on Instagram. Um, but last month, obviously like host to post are exploding right now. So um, I was talking to another um, VIP leader and she was like, I just only send out host to post messages on both platforms. And I was like, well, you know what? Push and press, I'll try it for an entire month. And I tried only messaging out or only messaging for host posts last month on Facebook and Instagram. And I had never gotten so many enrollments in a month before. And like, it was insane. And like the same with this month, I actually like literally hopping on, I just enrolled my 10th customer for the month and it's a hundred percent from host to post. So if you're not doing a host to post, please try. <laughs> like I am the person that hated host a post. I was like, these are stupid. They don't work. And I tried them one day and I was like, oh, okay. They actually work. So just try it and you have to be consistent with it. I feel like that can literally be a whole nother zoom on itself. But if you're not doing host a post, give it a week. And honestly, sometimes it may take even more. It's simply just being consistent with them and you are going to find what works with you through the messaging and everything that's going to make um, host to post work but I do like a hundred percent host to post messaging now. Um, and then I'll also go back and, um, excuse me, if someone's done a host post for me, I have trackers and everything where they have, I have their names written down. I'll go back and I'll message them to become a distributor. So that's kind of the only reach out messaging that I do, but it's from people that have done host to post. Awesome. Can you share with us what that, like how you go about asking them about becoming a distributor? I'm sure a lot of people are wondering that too. Yeah. Awesome. So I, this is, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, you, no, you got, it's, it was like delayed a little bit. Oh no, you're fine. So this is my message for Facebook. Um, we're doing a cash giveaway. I always put cash giveaway because sometimes it's different. Like right now, um, I'm doing a host post giveaway for my team. And then Shay is also doing one and they're two different or they're both different. So that's why I just have cash. And if people ask, then I'll explain what it is, but that's my Facebook one. And this is my Instagram one. Um, they're somewhat the same. Um, and also just like another side note, I don't have them tag me on Facebook host to post. I know if you do host post, you're probably wondering that I had them tag me up until what month are we may yeah up until may 1st and i stopped doing that just to see how it worked and that's working so much better for me so if you're kind of just like okay well like i do host post but like eh, just like change it a little bit i don't do any special things with my host post i just don't have them tag me and that also is working really well um i think i hope this is nope that's not the right one i have a specific text replacement for asking them to be a distributor i just have to figure out which one it is okay that was it um no, I don't have them tag me at all. So basically I'll just say like, let me know when you post it and I'll take care of the rest. And I'll go back and I turn on the post notifications and I save it to a folder. And I check that, like check all those folders um, every morning and then every night before I go to bed. And obviously with the post notifications being turned on, it'll say like, Emily commented on Jenna's post. It'll say that I'm like, oh, okay. And then I just go and take care of that like throughout the day. Um, and then I also just commented my message for after they do a host a post to be a DT. Um, I've signed multiple DTs with that, especially with ones like I do do giveaway host a post as well, just to like grow my market and everything. And I had three girls that each got over 500 comments on those posts. And I was like, you have to join my team. And I sent them all voice memos and I was like, okay, look, I was like, I'm going to be honest with you. And I was like, I've never seen a post get this many comments before. And I was like, literally, please join my team. <laughs> like I would have never done that to anyone else, but it was just because these comments were outrageous and all three of them joined my team and they all went back and I just immediately taught them how to do host to post and got their shopping sprees like within the day or two, just doing that. So that's kind of like the flow, I guess, that I do it. Um, but yeah, that's also, yeah, my messages and things too. Awesome. I love that. I, 
that's why I personally am loving Facebook because it's so organized. Yes. Like it's sure. literally you just save the post, someone will post for you and all your follow-ups are in, in one place. I'm like, wow, this is amazing for someone who hates to, like, I just, I don't, I don't want to sit, I don't want to hold something like a pen and paper and, and write names all day. Like yeah. I, I'm on the go a lot. So I've like taught a lot of people. I'm like, look, I just screenshot the combo and then I'll just go through my screenshots whenever like I follow up the next day. Um, but like, I feel like it drives me insane. Just like, you know, being unorganized. So I guess mm -hmm. like, I am organized, if that makes sense. Um, but I love that. I do. So something that I do, and I don't know if you've ever done this, but I pre-record a voice memo of your, basically your message. Like, have you ever considered like doing what I do for social media? When you post it for me, this is exactly what we do. And I just forward that to people who post for me instead. So they're listening and they like hear my voice and it's like a little more genuine. So I can, I just, I noticed a, like a, a difference for sure. Cause they're hearing my voice. Um, but I'll send, you know, something like that too, if it's on Instagram, for example, cause we can't, we can't send voice memos and copy and paste them on Instagram yet. So, um, that's just a tip for all you guys too, that has worked. And again, it's just a forward. Well, okay. So I forward it to myself in my own DM. So I have like a bunch of different stuff in my own DM. So I have like, you know, when people will give me objections and stuff, so I'm ready to go and I can just forward it to people. Right. So that just helps me out a lot. All right. Wow. This is so good. This is great. Okay. Um, I feel like as I'm listening to you more, I start realizing how I'm actually more organized than I think I am. But, um, regardless, you guys should have a checklist, like no matter what, and especially on the days I get busy, like today, I don't know what happened, but like four o'clock hit and I'm like, I got up maybe like five post posts. I'm like, okay, focus. What do I do? And I just like, blanked I'm like all right the last five years just like I, I don't know what happened to it so I'm like okay and I got the checklist out and I'm like I need to follow up because I didn't even follow up for the day today was nuts and I just started following up from the post yesterday and I started getting more up I'm like okay I figured it out um all right wow do you guys have any questions for her we went over I feel like we went over a lot in 37 minutes um but do you guys like have any specific questions for her? Um, any, I mean, literally anything. Okay, question. How, um, I was gonna say, no, no one's asking right now, but someone just asked, so I'm gonna ask. Um, for, for your, um, for enrolling distributors, um, and I don't know if you like tally this or keep track, but I know you are, you do like the influencer and like the comment thing, which is awesome. I just started doing that and it's been amazing. Do you think you enroll like more people from host posts? Do you think you enroll more distributors, meaning from like your posts, your stories, um, cold messaging them? Like, do you even know the answer to that? Yeah, I know what you're saying. So honestly, I feel like it kind of changes on platforms on Facebook. Um, Last month, like just pure example is when I came up, I guess, with that host to post, that DT host to post that I'm doing. Um, if you guys don't have it, this is what it is. And if you don't do it, please just do it. Like I promise you it works. So um, okay. I do the influencer application and um, I just have them post that. I'll just go and comment my um, application and in my phone, it's I-N-A-P-P for my um, text replacement. And in a week I signed up 17 distributors a hundred percent from that. And like, I was shocked. Like I am like, I'm just speaking this out loud. Cause I know I am, I am a mass distributor enroller. And on April 9th, I hadn't enrolled one and I was like, something's wrong. And so I was like, I'm just going to do host to post. And literally I enrolled so many, like I get anywhere from 15 to 25 DTs a month, like on average, um, just cause I'm super consistent with them. Um, but host to post is how I've been doing, getting them a lot from Facebook. And I really just feel like it's my, um, like just posting in general too. Like I do get ho or DTs off of Instagram as well, but I feel like I don't know. It's just kind of different. Like I feel like on Instagram, it's more of just people like 
hey, you make money from your phone. What do you do? And I'm just like talking to them about it and everything. And then um, from there, like, I feel like, I don't know, it's kind of different, but I feel like on Facebook, I get more like, okay, I feel like Facebook is more like moms like need extra money. And then Instagram is like college girls that just like want a couple hundred dollars for gas. I hope that like makes sense. But that's just kind of what I've seen for myself. Um, but yeah, I hope that answers your question. You scared the life out of me. But yeah, that's kind of how I do it. No, it makes sense. Okay, so um, kind of going along with the other, a few questions too, because I wanted to ask that, the same question. How many, like when you enrolled 17, was it 17 distributors in one week? Like how truly, how many host balls did you get up? Because I'm about to go do that when we get off here. So I'm just going to be completely honest with you guys. That was the most stressful week of my entire life. I'm just being honest. Like I was so overwhelmed but it was like the good feeling and so that was when I got each of those three girls I literally sent out three giveaway host to post and each of them were just comments on comments on comments and I was just like okay I was like, we're gonna do it so honestly one of those days I got up over 100 host to post and wow. it was insane I try to do um 10 today I've gotten up 20 um, on the first couple days of the month, I just did like two or three. So like I said, it changes every single day. But honestly, like I do this full time. I don't have kids. I have a cat. That's about it. So I literally was just sitting in here and I was just like banging on my keyboard trying to figure it out. But I also don't want you guys to think like, I have a job. I can't do that all day. Like, it's not like that at all. Like, I simply was just trying to get them done as quickly as possible. But you don't have to do that. Like, if people are interested, they're interested. They may not be interested right now, but they're going to be interested. So, honestly, I mean, throughout the, or throughout the rest of that week, I didn't message a single other person reaching out for host to post. I literally was just living off of those comments. And every day I would go and message like 50 people off of each thing. And if I hit my host to post goal, I would just basically like, just try to keep going. And then how I kept it organized was I just liked their comment. If I liked their comment, I knew that I messaged them just because I was like, I don't know how any other way I'm supposed to be able to get this done. Um, and I was just kind of like going through it, but that's why like after the whole week ended, like I still have people on my page from those host to post just because like there was just so many people at one time. Um, I hope that like answered your question because like no, I don't want you guys to think no, that it was like, <laughs> no, no, this is great. Um, and my, the, the greens are coming out. The greens are coming out of me. So I'm like, okay, I want to know. I want to know everything. Um, one, what is the host post giveaway that you're using? And guys, when she shares it, please change up some words or emojis. And two, um, like, do you have a set? You said you said um, ten a day, I think minimum. But do you break it up? Is like three for DTs, like six for LCs, and then two giveaway kind of thing. Yeah, so I have this tracker. Um, I can show you guys it as well. That is the host to post giveaway post that I do. Same thing. Don't have them tag me. Um, I will change drop your fave color to birthday month, favorite food, an emoji. <laughs> like I just change it because obviously I don't want the same one being posted every single time. Um, but this is my tracker. Um, and I can send you a blank page of this as well. This is what it looks like. I just started using this. I don't know who made it. <laughs> But I just started using that one yesterday. I don't know who made it, but it got sent in one of our chats and I was like, I'm using it awesome. So over here on the side, it just says like type of post. Um, and it just says like biz op and product and giveaway. So for today, um, I did two, three, four, six giveaway posts, three product posts, and then three business posts. But that's also broken up on Facebook and Instagram. Instagram, I do, um, I'm like, have such a, system. I'm literally so weird about it. The first or the 15th, I only send out a DT one and it's just like a little story that I made. Um, and then the 15th through the end of the month, I do a product one that has my personal results on it. Um, and I just do TFX and coffee for that one. So, and then like, I'll also go back and I'll like flip them. So then at the end of the month, I'll message all the people on Instagram that did the DT one saying, if you'd like an extra entry, like you can just post on your story, tag me and I'll get you another entry. So then I kind of have them do both. That also really helps. And then also like 
a bunch of people that are interested in or that do the D, the DT one, they're like, well, what are these products? And then like vice versa for that too. So that works really well for me as well. Um, I don't really have a system as for for giveaway to DT. Like I don't really do anything like that. I just kind of like mix and match. And I see um, obviously on Facebook, you can see where people are from. So right now I'm in Harlan, Kentucky. I don't know how that happened, but everyone is from Harlan, Kentucky. So I'll basically just do some of them doing um, DT, some of them doing um, the giveaway one just so I can grow my market. And then like today, I noticed that I had a girl from Pennsylvania comment. So then I had her do a giveaway one so then I could get more people from Pennsylvania. Oh my God, so, that's so smart. Why did I not ever think of that? I, just, I was just thinking about it because like everyone like I'm I literally go like state by state so every D2 yeah. I enrolled last month was from Tennessee I don't understand how I live in Texas by the way so I was like I don't know what's going on and then I randomly had someone from like South Texas do a host post or comment so then I had her do a giveaway one to get more people down there so that's kind of how I do it there's really not like a science behind it if I have one go up or like have a giveaway one go up it gets like two comments I'll just do a couple more and I basically just kind of wait until one of them gets 15 ish comments and that's when I stop sending that one out and then I just go to TFX so I hope that makes sense no it does and it's funny because it's like so simple but it's just a creative part of our brain sometimes need to like hear it from someone else first and then we're like oh like me that's so smart like for me when I post if they have a lot of friends on Facebook, for example, I'm going to do the giveaway post or the DT post. That's just me. Unless it's like month end and I'm like pushing for volume, right? That's just how I think. If they have like a hundred friends or 200 friends, I'll probably give them like a product post. That's just how my mindset works. If someone else has a better idea, let me know. But that's what I do and that's what works. Um, awesome. Wow. That was so that was so helpful. And I, I really liked how you said on Instagram, you give first half of the month DT, second half LC, and then you switch it up. I actually send them three stories at once. <laughs> one's a product, one's DT, and one's for the giveaway. And I say, I'll give you an entry for each. And then I'm like, all right, do it up. But I like yours. That's so awesome. Okay. Woo. Wow. I'm like, I just, I'm tired, but I want to go work. That's amazing. Wow. All right. Thank you so much. I don't, I think we got the, the questions. Um, how do you, okay. We did that one. Oh, okay. Allie asked about, okay. Do you get a lot of distributors on the spot? Um, and or like is it a lot of follow-up is it like a little bit of both kind of deal it's definitely going to be a little bit of both i will say that i truthfully think i do get more on the spot and i only think it's because like i am so confident in this business and i feel like that's one thing that like you're probably like okay yeah i am too but it's like i don't know like what changed in my brain but this was like last january and i was like I am a mass DT enroller and I have never once, like since January of 2019, I've never enrolled less than 15 distributors a month. And like, that was just something I said to myself and the manifestation is real and it happens every single month. Um, but I do a hundred percent of my conversation with voice memos. I do have, um, scripts, I guess, but I try to do as many voice memos as I can on Facebook and on Instagram, just so like they actually hear my voice. So obviously the conversation is going to change every single time, but I really feel like once I was just like really wanting to get to know them. And cause at first, like it was just like, I mean, I'm just being honest. Like it was just like signing someone to put them in a box. Like that was my entire mindset. And once it flipped from like genuinely wanting to help these people, that's when everything changed for me. And it was just like, it was like so simple. Cause like, if you're yellow, you're probably like, how could you say that? But like mm -hmm. the red was real. So like once I like flipped that mindset of mine of like trying to like genuinely help these people be successful and earn an extra income, that's when everything changed. And it changed with my enrollments. It changed with my, um, 
there's a word for it. I can't think, but like when the DTs actually work and they stay for longer or retention, I think, yeah, I think yeah. it was like my retention. It's when that changed and like everything just kind of became um, like more. Obviously I do have girls that join and they don't do anything. I'm not a unicorn. If I had a tip that could help you guys with that, I wish I could tell you, but there are going to be those two or three DTs that join and they don't do anything it happens to every single one of us. So I don't want you to think that it's just you because it definitely does happen. But I'm just like very intentional with it, I guess. And like I have it on my checklist every single day to message my new distributors. And I'll send them like depending on where I am with my training on them or with them, I guess. Um, it's like, hey girl, I hope you have a great day. Like literally something like that. Like just simply telling them to have a great day. I've had girls come to me and they're like, okay, listen, I'm struggling. And I'm like, okay. I like opened that barrier for them to like be able to come to me and just like talk to me. So I feel like that like kind of helped a little bit, but it definitely is a bunch of follow-ups, a bunch of on the spots. It honestly just kind of depends on the person really and like the conversation that I have with them. Mm -hmm. Love that. Okay. So your attitude and your energy is everything get to know them, right? You, people want to be cared about, guys, right? You want, you want to feel like you're loved, right? I want to feel like I'm loved. That's how I'm going to trust this person is, you know, if they're being true and genuine and honest with me, right? I'm honest with all my potential distributors. Like, I'm just real and upfront with them. Um, and, okay, sorry, I thought I missed something, but all right. Thank you so much. This was amazing. I appreciate you so much. I mean, you just poured into us and we are cheering you on. I know that God has a path for you, right? to presidential and ambassador 100%. You are awesome. And I hope you guys have a great night. Yes. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. Bye guys.